Okay, time to make some um, pasta for our spaghetti sauce. We're having spaghetti for supper tonight. We've already made our bread, which is sitting on the counter. It's how we haven't made it yet, but the dough is sitting on the counter. So we start with two cups of all-purpose flour. That one was kind of short, so here's that. So we've got two cups of flour, half a teaspoon of salt, and I am going to use my fork here, kind of mix that up. And then I'm going to put a little bit of a hole down here, if you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, and we're going to put three eggs in. So that first egg just kind of went kaput right as soon as I dropped it in there. I'm thinking about taking that out and putting another one in there. I don't know if I trust that. These are my farm eggs. However, when they do that, I question it. So I'm going to dig that, yeah, that out. I'm going to dig that out and put another one in there. Yeah, these videos are raw, people. <laughs> Let me take that out. I'm sure it's fine, but I don't know. Let's put another one in there. Okay, so that kind of makes three there. So I'm going to whisk these eggs here first. All right, let's just put a little bit of flour in at a time. Okay. I'm going to keep on doing this until we absolutely cannot anymore and we'll just start using our hands. That's just probably as far as I can go here with the fork. Alright, so I'll pick that off. Well, I've removed my jewelry, but this one ring just will not come off of my finger, so I've got one left on. When this does form into a ball we're going to put it on the counter and knead it and this dough is super stiff if it's too sticky we're going to add a little bit more flour if it's just too dry we'll add a little bit of water my son and bonus daughter bought me a little pasta machine um, you don't plug it in it's you do it by hand flinging dough but anyway you can also make this without a pasta maker you can just roll it out on the counter and just roll it out very very thin as thin as you can possibly get it and, and cut it into slices you can use a pizza cutter a knife whatever you have doesn't have to be perfect but my pasta machine is just handy dandy you can make um, ravioli noodles linguine spaghetti all sorts of things with it it's just fantastic so I do have this ball 
formed here and I'm going to cover it and let it set for, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. And I might have set it backwards, but we're going to let it set and rest. It needs to rest. So we're going to let it rest. Okay, so I did say that backwards. You're going to have to knead it first, okay, for about probably six minutes, seven minutes. I've been kneading it for probably about five minutes now. I just put a little bit of flour on the counter, put my uh, ball of dough down, and just started getting after it. And it's going to be stiff. It's going to be stiff. I'm just about done here, but after we knead this, like I said, for about six or seven minutes, then we're going to cover it with plastic wrap and let it rest. You know, what's so fantastic about this is that if you can't get to the store to get spaghetti noodles, store-bought spaghetti noodles, if that's what you prefer to use, well, you know, this is just made out of staples. Flour, salt, eggs, if you have chickens, or if you just can maybe trade with somebody to get some eggs. But anyhow, that's probably good. All right, let's wrap it in some plastic wrap. Okay, we'll just let that set about 30 to 45 minutes or so. Let that rest and we'll come back to it. All right, the dough has rested for 45 minutes. So let me see if I can get that a little bit lower here. There we go. So it's rested for about 45 minutes. And I'm going to cut this <clears throat> into four sections here. And this stuff is tough. There we go. There's one. I'm just going to split it up four ways. I have my pasta machine hooked up over there on the counter. And we're going to head over that way. Kind of put those in that shape here. All right, let me scoot up. All right, I have my daughter here helping me to flatten this out with the roller. I flatten this out just a little bit. All right, ready? Go ahead and roll. Whoops, I have this on the widest, not the widest, I have it on like a number seven right now. I might need to do it a little bit more more wide. You got, you okay? Yeah. All right. We're going to eventually get to number four for spaghetti. You got it? Good job. I believe, what did we say we used number six on that one? So anyway, this is done. We're going to fold it like this. We're going to put it back through, okay? Okay, we're running it for the second time through. Let me push that through. I'm having to hold this side down. It, we have it clamped on the side of the cabinet. I mean, excuse me, the counter, but I don't know. Our counters must be awkward. Got this strong girl rolling it out. You saw how I flipped that and I'm going to do it one more time. Look at that yumminess. Alright. I'm going to flip it one more time through here. And we're going to go to a number five. Just going to adjust this to number five. 
and don't get you know too concerned about the numbers we just want to get it flat to a number four okay can you hold this part maybe I'll try to roll it this time because this is a number five got it okay Now we're going to roll it into a number four. Let me get it a little bit. Let me fold over the side so it'll fit in the machine. I think that'll fit. Yeah. We're going to put it to a number four. Okay. Okay, ready? Go ahead. Okay. I need to be holding this side. It's getting a little gollywopped. No biggie. Okay. I'm just going to try to even that out just a little bit. Just roll it through one more time. And we are on number four. Okay, go ahead. I'm going to try to hold this side down. Hopefully you can see the machine. Okay, hold on. There you go. Okay, this is what we want as a number four. hook on this piece here and we'll come back okay we're gonna take this handle off oh it's going too close I'm gonna take the handle off of here and then we put it onto the spaghetti cutter part okay right here I've got my son here he's gonna help me crank this thing okay you ready? Yep. Okay, go right ahead. And we are making scatty noodles. Nothing like homemade spaghetti noodles or any kind of homemade noodles. They're just better than store bought any day of the week. Can you see? My elbow's in the way, probably. Look at that. Yum, yum. A lot of people will hang theirs up to dry. I have a pan over here with flour all over it. Let me get this here. And I'm just gonna toss it on my pan. I'm gonna I'm not drying it out. I'm gonna cook this pretty quick. Thank you, dear. So anyway, we're gonna finish this up and I'll get back with you and show you um, how we're gonna how we're gonna boil it. I try fold it and do it on number six setting about three times and I've done it about three times so I'll set this to number four we'll put a little bit of flour on here Actually, I'm moving it back. Maybe to about a number five here. Got a little sticky, so put some flour on here. We'll go through it again. This is just so fun. I'll put a little bit more flour here. Flour is your friend during this process. Okay, I'm gonna go to a little bit thinner. And like I said, you can do this by hand. You don't have to have this fancy machine, if you wanna call it fancy. Um, 
you can roll it out on your counter with a rolling pin just as thin as possible and just cut it with a pizza cutter like I said or a big knife if that's what you want to do a lot of people hang these up on hangers your spaghetti noodles when you're done they make like little wooden noodle dryers pasta excuse me dryers that you could use um, I'm, like I said, I'm just throwing mine on a pan with flour right now because I'm going to throw them in here just as soon as possible. There you have it. There's my pan of sketty noodles, y'all. I've got so much flour on there because, you know, you don't want it to just be a big old giant ball of noodles. So, you know, you can see they're kind of loosey-goosey here. Um, I'll get some water boiling, toss them in, and um, cook them for you know approximately three minutes it really doesn't take long with homemade noodles but you want to cook them either you know two three minutes or al dente and uh, they'll be perfect my water is boiling I'm about to toss these noodles in there you go. it's fogging up my camera you get the idea I'm gonna plop them in let them come back to let this come back to a boil. Boil it about three minutes or so. These are so much better than store bought noodles, y'all. No joke. My boy will tell you that this is the best noodles he's ever had. <laughs> All right, and I'll give it a little stir too. All right, my noodles are done. I'm gonna go ahead and drain them and run a little bit of cold water on them. Yep, seriously folks, doesn't get any better than that.